probe design for in situ hybridization in order to detect target clone the construction of probe it is very important if we want to construct probe then we have must have the idea about uh, the sequences of the target gene if we have the inf necessary information then we can uh, construct the probe as I told you that probe is a segment of DNA or it may be oligonucleotide that may be variable in length and it is complementary to the target gene and length may be uh, um, around 40 base pair may be 100 or 1000 base pairs and finally it is used to detect the target gene if we want to detect the complementary sequences in the target gene then hybridization by using the probe it can be performed at high stringency that is very stringent condition can be used so that only the complementary sequences in the probe and the target uh, gene may be hybridized with each other a uh, high stringency means that we can uh, increase the temperature for annealing or melting temperature can be increased uh, and the ionic strength of the salt it may be lowered so that only uh, the sequences that are complementary highly complementary sequences in other words uh, they can base pair with each other on the other hand if uh, we want to detect just uh, related sequences then the hybridization it can be performed at low stringency like temperature can be lowered so that those sequences that are closely related uh, are in uh, in other words some unrelated sequences they can also uh, form base pairing so at low stringency highly related sequences and some partially related sequences they can also hybridize so in this way at low stringency uh, we can also uh, detect homologous genes uh, in a particular uh, species uh, suppose we have constructed a probe uh, from a gene that is highly conserved and it will base pair only with related sequences but if low stringency conditions are given then some other gene families that are uh, homologous they can also be detected so this strategy of low stringency uh, has been used to detect hoax gene uh, in different type of organism hoax gene are those genes that can control developmental processes in higher organism like in uh, human like frog or other vertebrates and even uh, in frogs or insects these hoax gene can be detected by using a particular uh, probe so cross hybridization may be there at low stringency that can uh, give information about the other closely related gene family so low stringency in this way can be used to detect closely related gene families on the other hand if we want to use or if we want to detect closely related sequences then uh, the hybridization can be uh, processed at high stringency sometime this probe uh, can be synthesized uh, under the laboratory conditions because sometime if RNA probe is not available DNA probe is not available then uh, it can be synthesized and for the synthesis of uh, probe in the laboratory we can take help from the amino acid sequence so amino, amino acid sequence can be converted into a nucleotide sequence and then it can be used for the construction of probe but if we are going to construct a DNA probe by using amino acid sequence then we must take into account the degeneracy of the amino acids degeneracy is a situation where more than uh, one codon can be used for a particular amino acid so in this case we have to use degenerate uh, probes like the degenerate primers and here 
uh, if certain amino acids are there like the methionine or tryptophan, uh, then it is more valuable because these two amino acids, methionine or tryptophan, uh, they are coded mainly by uh, one codon. So, their incorporation into the degenerate probe, uh, it may be more valuable. So, degenerate primates can also be synthesized uh, and uh, in addition to that, degenerate pro probes can also be constructed from a particular amino acid sequence. So, in any, in any case, if we are constructed, going to construct uh, degenerate primates or DNA probes, then we must take into account different factors like the melting temperature, annealing temperature, overall length of the uh, probe. Uh, so, all these factors can be taken uh, into uh, account. So, in order to perform in situ hybridization, we need to develop a, a particular probe and this probe can be developed if we have an idea about the target gene that what may be its sequence or uh, in other words the amino acid sequence can also be used to construct uh, degenerate probes.